What's up guys welcome back to Indie Geeks this is Nilesh Kumar again back with a Cyanogen mod installation tutorial so in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Cyanogen mod 13 on your Nexus 5 device the same method can be used to install Cyanogen mod 13 on Nexus 5P, 4, 5X and many other Google devices so the first thing first you need to install the drivers on your computer Every phone has different drivers and that is automatically detected when you connect your phone with a USB port to the computer. And if it's not getting detected in your case, please make sure that you are having Windows 7 or above or you can even download it from just googling it for your device. The next important thing you need is Android SDK tool. You can download it from Google or I will be providing the link below in the description. After downloading that file, you just need to extract it in any directory you wish. The next thing you need is the Cyanogen mod itself, a recovery, custom recovery rather, known as a TWRP recovery and G apps to be downloaded from the website given below. As you can see that I have already downloaded the ADT bundle and made a shortcut on my desktop so that I can easily access that. Enough of talking, now let's proceed with the tutorial. So move to your phone and quickly go to settings and then to about phone you can see the stock android is installed no custom rom is there i can't see the developer option right there and you must so you must unlock it by pressing on the build number for seven times and then go to developer option you can see the usb debugging option tick that and click ok now go to your computer and open your add bundle folder as soon as you open the ADD bundle folder, open SDK and then platform tools. Hold down shift and then open command terminal window here. The command terminal window appears and just type the commands as follows. You can see that the list device is not attached so the list of devices is not coming there. So quickly go to your device and connect to your PC. After that connect, again type that same command and you will see your device ID. Confirm that your phone as well and click OK. So guys, we are now going to reboot the phone into the bootloader so that we can unlock the bootloader and then flash the recovery. For that type the command adb reboot bootloader and the phone goes blank as you hit enter. Yeah, so now the phone is booted into the bootloader and you can see the lock state is locked right now. You need to unlock that. But before you need to unlock that, you, you need to make sure that the fast boot is working. For that type fast boot devices and you can see the ID right there. So the fast boot is working. So hit fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. The phone data gets erased. So please back up your data beforehand. Use volume up buttons to go to the yes option and then tap the lock button for yes. And the erasing procedure starts. So wait till the erasing is done and then the phone is ready to be flashed. Okay, the phone is now ready to be flashed. So we need to flash the recovery. For that you must first copy the twrp recovery file into your platform tools directory so just paste it right there and then again go to the terminal window and hit fast boot flash recovery recovery.img or twrp img it depends on the file name so in in my case fast boot fast recovery twrp.img and hit enter the recovery gets flashed and now you can boot it into the recovery by using the volume buttons on your phone so i'll do it just right there hit the volume up button and go to the recovery mode and click lock button you can see the phone is now rebooting and goes to the twrp recovery now swipe to allow modifications and you are ready to flash the cyanogen mod But first you need to copy the files on your phone. So go to your Nexus 5 device, internal storage and paste it right there. 
I just pushed the video faster so you need not to wait for a long time. So as soon as the files get copied, you can't see it on your TWRP. So you need to reboot that. So go to reboot and reboot to recovery. After rebooting, you will be able to see the files you have just pasted on your device. So just click those files first cm recovery and then add zip then go to a g apps and then swipe to confirm flash the flash process starts as soon as you swipe to confirm flash so wait till it flashes it takes about 10 minutes so i just push the video faster so twrp will flash both the files and then you need to just clear the dalvik cache and then reboot your system You can see that the flashing is completed, so wipe Dalvin catch and swipe to wipe, reboot your system and the Cyanogen mod logo will appear. Wait for it as it will take a long time as it's a first boot. I have pushed the video faster, so Android is starting, optimizing some apps. This takes about half an hour, so please be patient and let it do so. After that a Cyanogen mod welcome screen will appear showing you to set up your phone for the first time. At this point your flashing process is already completed and you can enjoy your Cyanogen mod for the rest of your life. Hello guys, thanks a lot for watching my video so please subscribe, comment, share and like.